Greetings once again, saints of the Evangelical Free Church of Oroville. These are indeed exciting days, are they not? They certainly are interesting. But the Lord is in control. We are confident that his plan will go forward, and he calls us to be people of hope and optimism, not people of pessimism and conspiracy. We look to stay in contact with you as much as possible throughout this week because this week really is the center of the Christian calendar. Really, it's the center of all human history. It certainly is the focal point of God's plan of salvation for sinners. The life, death, burial, and resurrection of our great God and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. On Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on Facebook, I would look to have a midweek Bible study with those that can join me live. So you can look for that. And then on Friday, we will have a, a small Good Friday service from our home starting at 7 p.m., a time of hymn singing, of meditation, reflection on some scripture as we think about the sufferings of our Lord and what he went through to get to the cross. And so look for those events. The, the service on Friday, we will try to have simultaneously on Facebook and YouTube. And so look for that 7 p.m. Friday. But what I really want to talk to you about today is something that we're looking to do on Sunday that is unique in the history of our church. You know, growing up, many of us use things like this to, to stay in contact with the world, you know, get news and information and listen to baseball games and what have you, transistor radios. Some of us still use them. Certainly all of us use radios in our car. And that got us thinking, why not use that technology in a creative way today? And so it is that I'm pleased to announce that this Sunday, for Easter Sunday, we are having a drive-in church service on our parking lot. It will begin at 10 a.m. It will be a short service. The idea is to give us an opportunity to gather together while still respecting social distancing and then get us out in an orderly fashion. If you look in the description of this video on YouTube, or if you look in the comments section on Facebook, you will see a lengthy letter that I'm sending out to the church with all the instructions that we need to follow so that this will be a successful service. We've been listening to the guidelines put together by our local authorities and state authorities. We want to follow them. We also feel it's important for us to gather together and at least see each other, though of course during the entirety of the service on Sunday, no one will be allowed to leave his vehicle. And we need you to very faithfully follow the rules and guidelines that will be posted for this service throughout the parking lot and also the parking attendants that will be there to help people get in and out. This is a unique Sunday. Things will be done in a unique way. And I thank you ahead of time for your flexibility and willingness to go along with the guidelines for the well-being of all of us who gather on Sunday. Some of you may decide, I just don't want to venture out right now. And that's okay. We are going to record the service on Sunday and then make it available a couple of hours after the fact on both our YouTube and Facebook pages. And so you will be able to see the service afterward, just as perhaps you've been following us online for the last few weeks. We recognize that we are in unique days. And we, as your pastors and elders, are striving to be both prudent and pastoral in all that we do. We want to honor the Lord. We want to honor his people. We want to honor the authorities that are over us. But I think we all could use a little bit of a boost or a shot in the arm. And we're hoping that our drive-in church service on Sunday will provide that. The encouragement of at least seeing each other, though maintaining appropriate distance, and worshiping our great God and Savior together. I look forward to meeting with you online all throughout the week. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday at our drive-in service. And I want to just read a few verses out of the Gospel of Matthew as I close this video. Now, after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb, and behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come and see where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And that is our great hope as believers, that that tomb is still empty. And because that tomb is empty, our hearts 
can be full. And God bless you all, my friends. I look forward to seeing you later in the week at our drive-in service, if not before online. God bless.